this is Kate. And this is Dad, another episode of Coding with Dad. And Coding Kate. Coding with Dad. <laughs> and Kate, you have some, um, you have an interesting idea related to something you did in school, right? This, actually, this project right here, I think I did this in first grade. And wow. then I'll show you another one that I did recently. And what'd you do, like, what, you had an assignment in school to teach, to show, like, you did some fraction thing with. teach kids about adding fractions but this one is just added but it's just it's a fractions. similar idea like you're creating similar like ideas. a math quiz mm -hmm. and so we're so this one's a little simpler than the one you did for school but it's still it, people can follow this one and then maybe do maybe it's useful for them to do for their school projects as well right mm -hmm. okay yeah. great so this is just addition so i'm going to play it once just to give you an idea so what's your name kate hello kate hello we are going to do multiplication. Oh, multiplication. I changed it to multiplication. <laughs> I didn't realize that. How many questions do you want? Um, do a small number. Like three. Three? Three. three. Okay. It gives you a better okay. amount. Five times three is 15. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> That's me in second grade. <laughs> And then, let's say I get one wrong. I know uh, I know that two, <laughs> you, two times what? five is ten. Are you sure? So, okay. twelve. Okay. Let's say it's twelve. <laughs> 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 and then... So, uh, then it gives you three chances. So, I, if I, I get it right now... Ding, ding, ding! And then what happens right? if, you get, if you blow your three chances? Then... You gotta show them? Four times four is sixteen, so thirteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One gazillion. Okay. <laughs> well, you're you're not this bad at that, are you? No. I better you better get the books. Now I'm just gonna say hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's wrong. <laughs> Great job. Your score is five. Okay, because you got um. How do you score? How do you score it? You got three questions. So you get like how many questions? And then I think if you get like a certain amount. If you get it right, right the first time, you get so many three points. Questions and you get, you know. Okay. So how? Show us. Uh, show us how this works, so other people can create things so, that are similar. I'm gonna just show. And you and were those like when the with these. the math? Let me ask you a question. With the math name, with with the questions that you ask, are all, all those always the same ones? Like you know, three plus five, three times five, and and two times five, and you know, actually, and four times four. Is it always the same ones? Actually, no. Oh. Because. Then I would have to come up with so many questions. Okay. Because someone could type in, like, I want a million questions. Yeah. And it will go on for a million questions. Really? Unless they press the stop button. <laughs> That'd be a long so, time. So, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't want to answer a million questions. Okay. So. Well, if they did, they, let us know how that works if you do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be an old, old man or lady by the time you're, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, wow. So... I haven't looked at this code in a while, but um. So what's the first thing you you the first go? Thing is, let's just walk through. These it. are question numbers. So what question are you on? Uh, okay. So like out of the questions that you want to do, and then this is your score. So, so you, you want so you set it to zero in the beginning. Right. So then. So you that when they restart it, it won't stay. You won't be working off the old score, right? Yeah. So then it asks, what is your name? Yep. And then it can say, like, hello, whatever your name yeah. is. Yeah. And so ask so the ask hello. block, for those that don't know, because there might be people that are, you know, that are doing, just coming new to Scratch. Ask, yeah. that's what pops up on the screen, right? Ask and then answer. If you put an answer right after that, okay. the answer, that's then whatever it, they typed it in. says join, so it'll say hello, and then it will. Oh, so join kind of. Can join the... can make it so you're saying hello, and then you're also saying something else. Oh, okay. In the Puts same, them together in the same speech bubble. And it says for two so, seconds, so it's uh, that's how long it's going to stay up on the screen. No, now here, here it will stay up for two seconds, okay. and here it will stay up for four seconds. Oh, then it asks, are you going to you're going to play through multiplication, and then how many? Then you ask, then you add, do another ask, right? So you say how many questions you want. So that's what it popped up on the screen. And yeah. then you set number of questions, which is which is this variable, right? This right here, question yep. number. And then. Um, and where do you set the variables? Set the variables. Um. Well, you go to. One second. I'm sorry. Oh, my computer's running slow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um. Ah. You set the variables, the variables here. 
And then here's the two ones that I want to show because that you you need to know your score, and then you right. also want to know your what question you're on mm -hmm. out of how many questions you have. Perfect. So um. So that so that when you ask over there in the code, um, number of questions, the answer goes into that. So whatever you say so you there. Set the number of questions to the answer. Okay. So this is how many questions. And then the answer will be a number, oh. obviously. So. And then I see the next very next thing is that repeat block. So it's it's going. That's why the number of questions are going to be important, right? Oh yeah. So here, this whole big, 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 right, big good. loop, all the way that goes yep. all the way down here, is the actual thing where it's for, asking the questions where it's asking the questions and this this repeat when you do a repeat with an with an with a, the variable number of questions that's a number so it's going to repeat that whatever the user typed in for the number of questions they want that's how many times that code inside that block is going to is going to execute right mm -hmm. okay so now right here it's changing it's changing uh -huh. the question number by one every time the question, every time it's going on to the next question. So you start question number, you initialize the beginning to zero. Mm -hmm. So on the first question, right after it hits that, it's going to be one, which is going to be question number one. Yeah. And now um, we're setting the x. So it's basically ask x times y equals whatever it is. So that's X. So, oh, so I get it. So X and Y are both the numbers. It's picking random numbers to multiply together, and that's going to be part yeah, of the question so it's going to ask. If you see it right here, it's X times Y equals if whatever X it decides X is, mm -hmm. and whatever it decides Y is, mm -hmm. if that equals whatever you answered ah so so then you change the score by three. Oh, so let me look up here so when you say set x and set y pick random zero to ten it's going to when it comes in there it's going to pick a number from zero to ten for x and zero to ten for y so that's what's that's how you're figuring out just picking a random question yeah. and then the when you say ask join it's going to say whatever x is whatever random number x is it's going to say times uh, whatever random number y is equals question mark. So that's what's going to so give the question to the to the user, that's right? That's what. Yeah, that's ah. that's what I was just about to say. So this block right here, the ask block mm -hmm. that I'm dragging the whole thing <laughs> right now, but that ask block is um showing <coughs> showing where the you know showing like what question it is. Okay. And now this is actually like. Basically doing the math in mm. this little cat's head because it's like <laughs> if what is x times y? Oh, is does that equal the, what the, whatever their answer was? Because the answer is whatever they typed in, right? And then like it's saying does that equal the whatever they answered? Mm -hmm. And then it's like yes or no, whatever it's, okay. whatever they did answer. So now it's changing the score by. Three. So if you get the answer correct on the first try, you get three points. Yeah. Okay. And then. Then you're gonna play the sound right, which was you. Was that you going ding ding ding? Ding ding ding. <laughs> and then otherwise, if you get it wrong, which means it doesn't equal the, whatever you typed in. Okay, that's where. Then it gets... you. Then it goes ah ah. <laughs> ah. And that's where you get asked. It says it's wrong. Try. You ask again, right? So and then you ask again the same thing. Ah. And then it tries again. Yep. If x plus y equals whatever answer you got, then x times y, sorry, well, equals whatever answer you got, then you change score by two this time. Ah, These, so if you got it right you the second thing, you get, yeah, less points. And then you play sound right. Right. So ding, ding, ding. And then if they get it wrong again, it says try one more time because this is like their last chance. Right. And then um, actually change score by one here. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Oh, okay. So change score oh, by good. one you found here, that. and then. So if you get it right on the last try, you only get one you only point. Only get one point, and then it says if, and then it does the whole thing again. Yeah, but so now if you don't get it right on the last time, it just plays the wrong sound, and you don't get any points for it, right? Mhm. Mm uh, yeah. That makes sense, and so it will go through this this whole thing that we just explained, the number of times for the number of questions you asked. And then it says 
Okay, what it's happens wrong. after you fin finish all the questions? Oh, okay. It's, and then it says this here. Mm -hmm. It might be a little confusing. Because if question number, mm -hmm. which is right here, is less than the number of questions, then it'll say it's wrong. Oh. Let's try another Perfect. one. As but if it's, to... if it's the same amount, you're, then they're done. They're done. You're not so going to ask them for say, another one. We're not going to ask them for another. Because they told us they, if they said like you said you want to pay three times. If you get to that, and it's question number three, and you're on question number three, then you're not going to say, "Try, let's try another," because that wouldn't make any sense. Right? Yeah, and then so, um, else it says it's wrong. Yep. So then it says down here, if number of questions times three equals score, which means you got every one ah, on, right on the this first is interesting. try. So you get a different then it response. Says, Excellent. Your score is, and then yes. it joins it with the score. Yep, because it'll be that'll depend on the number of questions you asked. Yeah. Okay. And then it says if zero equals score, then say you didn't get anything oh, right. Oh. Better luck. Better luck next time. Yeah. And then wait three seconds, and then it just thinks in your head. But if they got anything they better next time, and then else it says great job. Your score is. Okay. So at least if they got something right, you you're then, all, you're always saying so encouraging, Kate. So you're gonna say great job. Yeah. You know. Great job. They did pretty good, and you know. So that's great. Yeah. Because so, I don't want them to feel whoever did it would feel like oh I didn't yeah. do good. So I like, should have done better. You I guess know? what's good about this code here is somebody wants to to try something like this out or modify it is like if you were like this I think you use something like this to show in, in your class but let's say you were yeah. trying to learn your multiplication and you had nobody to quiz you it's like almost like having flashcards that yeah. come up randomly right yeah and it's just random which That's is great. good it, yeah so, so you can't predict what it's gonna ask you so um so now I want to show you um something really quick okay um I did it on a different account that mm -hmm. I have. Oh, you forgot that. Is that it, Kate? Oops. <laughs> the other account is Katie Girl, right? Yeah. And this was Kate. And then um, it's something that I did for my class, and this is the one that I um, used to teach people. Ah, okay. And oh, I think I... Just one second. I, I okay. need to <laughs> sign in as just one second. I'll be right back as soon as I sign in. Magic. <laughs> Magic. We suddenly got it on my yeah. So this is the project you talked about at the beginning where you created it for for school to help people um, add subtract uh, add fractions. Um, so it's just let's just with, show um with the same denominator. Same denominator. So show me how this might as well show them show them this one quickly and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. So, how do you so, run this one? Oops, I thought I had <laughs> done it. I'm sorry. There. So, um, now this one is not random. This one always does the same one. And I these are like costumes. I could have done this one much easier, but I decided to do it one way because I already started doing it one way, and then just the way I was doing it would have been hard to change. Yeah, so, so if anybody out there wants to do it, more random. We'd yeah, love and to if, see that. Also, if anybody wants to, if anybody wants um, me to create a video on how I did this one, then put a comment in. And yeah, put a that. comment and we'll do that. So anyway, hello. In this game, we will try to answer ten questions, and if you get eighty percent or more correct, you will win. Press any key when ready. So I'm gonna press. Where's the any key? I don't see the any key. Well, any key. Oh, any keyword. key. Oh, yes. So okay. I'm just going to press H. Oops. I typed in H. <laughs> so, eight fifths plus five fifths. Daddy? Um, is that um, 13 fifths? Yeah. Or, or um, two and three fifths, right? Okay. So, two, I'm going to type in two and three. Oops. Three fifths. Good job. Uh -oh. So how does it, so it really knows what you're is it know what you're typing? Yeah. What happens if you type something wrong? Then sorry, uh, but that is incorrect. Uh -oh. And then it goes on to the next question. So that's good. So you really So if you get eighty percent and your percentage is up here, yeah. or more correct, then um 
you will win. And this is all the code, by the way. Okay. We'll give a quick look at it. So if you want to try your best to understand We'll put a link it. in it. And if somebody wants to explain it, we'll do it in another video. Yeah, and I'm Sound just going to quickly look at it. Look, look at it. If you want to look, if you want to like pause the video here, then. Yeah. And it's probably better if they then. go. You just it's published it. probably better so. if, you know. Just if, remix it. Like, and uh, you maybe remix it or. Um, yeah. or, or try just, something. Similar. Or comment on the video and ask if you want. Need to explain it. So, so I yeah. think we're done, right? Uh huh. Okay, so uh, this was another really good episode of Coding with That. What are you doing? Bye. <laughs> Excuse me, just got that new tool. So I wanted to use it. Okay. All right, well, this has been another episode of Coding with That. I hope you like it. Please comment on the video. Or if there's any other suggestions that you want for Kate or Grace to, uh, to do, we're always open to suggestions. And uh, that's it. Bye.